Hey there friends, I'm going to share with you today all about this really awesome program that we just found as a family and absolutely love, playing preschool. Let me just turn around this camera and show you inside of the program to show you how it's organized so that you can get an idea before you purchase it of what you will see. Okay, let me show you inside. We actually have two binders because this program is gigantic. If you are printing it at home, you might want to do it in black and white. That is what is recommended. Um, if you're getting it bound, I had to actually split up my second set of playing preschool, playing preschool year two, into two books because the binder just simply couldn't fit it all into one. It is really gigantic. Um, let's look at how this program flows. So I printed this out separately. This is a book list and I find it really helpful to have all of the books together. You will find lists at the beginning of each unit as well, but because we need to gather up books from the library and also purchase some or think through substitutions that we want to make, I just find it really helpful planning wise to see it all together. So I put this into my binder and then you have the table of contents. There are 19 units and you have themes like apples, color, nursery rhymes, clothing, food, five senses, teddy bears, things that go together or types of pairs in the world, community helpers, transportation, on the farm, weather, eggs, plants, construction, pets, opposites, fairy tales and folk tales, and water. All themes that preschoolers uh, usually really enjoy and we haven't found any of them so far to be Mm, unenjoyable or too like cliche they've been really fun after this there is a guide and a program overview of telling you what letters will be covered in which units and why they're not taught in alphabetical order something important to note and then just giving you some helpful tips for using the guide how to read units and each week and multiple kids using the program with multiple kids one part of this that I found really helpful is the skills. The author selected different skills that are important for preschoolers going into kindergarten and then explains what is most important within those skills. Um, for example, the difference between teaching number sense and rote counting and um, fine motor skills and the importance of them. The program really focuses well on teaching kids to think and not just focusing on mastery of concepts, but going at a child's pace within good expectations, realistic expectations. One thing we don't use with this program is a morning calendar. We have our own routines with our homeschool and this one, it doesn't tell you what kind of morning calendar you need to use or anything like that. You have the opportunity to make an alphabet portfolio. We've skipped this for the most part because my boys know phonics already, um, but it can be a really fun art activity. Okay, the first unit is apples and you have at the beginning of each unit a list of supplies and a list of books and on my pages I like to mark which books we actually have on hand at home and then maybe which books we're going to do as YouTube read alouds or get from the library. Supplies I go through and make sure I need to um, if I need to get something that I can put it on my grocery shopping list or buy it online and most of the things we have had on hand already, a few things I had to purchase. So that is really helpful to look at several units ahead of time. I, for example, like to look two units ahead so that I have enough time to gather resources. Then you're going to have a poem and a song that you sing throughout the two weeks that you do each unit. Each week within the unit is laid out by itself. You have a goal at the top and some questions or question to focus on. Then you're going to have a list by day of the week um, of the books that you'll read, things to talk about, morning activities, easy activities you can do, as well as different skills that you're focusing on each day within those activities. After that, each day is laid out, and I love this. I'm used to programs laying out the whole week and then also the days of the week, but this one seems more visual to me. It includes pictures, maybe that's why. <laughs> um, but it's just been really logical and easy to follow. So you can um, 
I see all the activities laid out there and often there's some type of alphabet activity, some kind of counting or science, or math or science, um, and then just some questions that can guide you through the read aloud, predictive questions, um, book walkthroughs, different really good skills um, and strategies as the teacher for you to use. And um, so you're just going to have all the days of the week, then you get to the second week and you have all of those days and so on through the unit until you get to the second unit, which is colors. And this, con this continues the exact same way throughout the entire book or entire binder. We have really enjoyed everything that we've done so far. I will try to give an update to the review at the end of this program and just know anything else if it changes, but I don't expect to have any surprises We've really enjoyed it. It's been very consistent, very easy to follow. Um, some days I have picked out one activity to do. Uh, other days we've done most of the things um, and we found it all really beneficial. So that is the look inside. Thanks for watching this video about playing preschool. Continue with this video series with this next video here.